Hello and welcome back boys and girls. So today we are in a public session um, and we are going to be doing some stuff on our weed farm and stuff like that. So we're basically just going to be doing some, um, what do you call it, some drug dealing basically, yeah that's it, that's it. And get, making some money off of it. So I'm going to head over to my weed farm. Now, actually, to be honest, I'm gonna head over to my counterfeit because yesterday I went to my weed one. Ow! Yesterday I went to the weed one and got uh, a little bit of weed supply in there. Not much, but it'll do for now. Oh man, I've never seen half a boot in GTA really cool wow okay I did not think that was gonna happen um well okay I bet as soon as I enter this, everyone's gonna come after me now. <laughs> Literally. King Killer, bro. You! <laughs> Gotta get the name out there. I'm gonna put my bike right there. You got a reason for acting like a dick? In fact, yes I do. I literally just rode up. Ooh! Okay. So we got 17,000 in product. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to steal some more. And then sell some. Or maybe, I'm maybe not gonna sell some it right now. Maybe. I don't know. Because of the session we're in, so I don't really feel like I should sell it. Because I just realized actually how much people are in here. Yes, I want to steal supplies. I thought I accidentally had clicked on to buy supplies. And I'm like, uh oh! But yeah, I literally just realized how many people are in here. A security companies moving what we need just don't yeah. know which van they're using Keep hitting their cars till you get the supplies so there's two that way no, and none up there and the other two are down there all right then i'm gonna head for that one there <coughs> So you run over me again or I'll freaking blow you up.
Wow, I couldn't get on it because it was upside down. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Damn! I was trying to make a quick decision. Do I go off or do I stay on the road? <gasps> no! I hit X to run! And it dropped a C4! <sighs> okay, I'm getting those things out of my hand. And sorry! They just see like a bike and just zoom straight past. Freaking hell, this bike's flying! Doing 110. Oh, I was literally about to say if I was doing 110 and hit a car, I would be dead. Lucky I wasn't doing 110. Oh no, no, two things I'm saying no about, my bike smoking and that freaking helicopter plane thing. <laughs>
Okay, I need to quickly swap my bike over. No! Wait, that's what I meant by swapping it over, just taking it out and getting another one back. So it's fixed. So there's one over there, and there's one basically at the airport. Well, I'm gonna go for the one that's over here, even though there is a dude near there. So I'm gonna just carry this thing with me just in case. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a dress up. You ready? Okay, well, I didn't have the parachute, so I can't complete my look, but... Oh, okay, he drove away. Good job, boy. Woo! Oh, no. Whew. If I had fallen off, fallen off of my bike and died, my bike would have been done. Gonna get that dude freaked out. There's literally a cop. I thought it was a cop tracing the vans, but but no, I just realized that the van is a cop. Like they're cops as well. I don't want to pop the tires because then I'm going to have to drive with a pop tire. So. Ah! Okay, well, it's become green again, so that's good. That means I can go after them, jump in front of it, and then just rip them out of the truck without them shooting me. Oh, no, never mind.
This dude's a full on savage. No! I went like this because I didn't know which gun it was on. And then it freaking pulled out the RPG and yesterday I had ammo in it. And I was going to be really sad if it had a blown up. Now I'm going to drive this slow piece of crap all the way to the freaking uh, money house. With potential of dying. So where is it telling me to go? Through the middle of the city. Okay then. Let's do it. Why not? I'm not gonna take the highway though. <clears throat> and you know what, stuff it. I'm gonna go a different way instead of that way. Even though it's probably like a quicker way, it'll like lead me straight out there. But like, I'm gonna get a different way out to the place instead of going straight through the middle. I do see that dude coming to intercept to where I'm heading. Okay, he just like turned around. That welly dog dude was heading over this area as well. So. Alright, well I'm going to take this right, then take the next first, my first left up here. And then head basically straight up. And then down. Alright, well that dude's right there, so... Yeah, he's coming for me. Alrighty then. Really, you can't throw frickin' sticky bombs out of these windows? I remembered that. God damn it! Well, you can't throw sticky bombs out of those windows either, so... This dude does not really know where I'm going. Which is a plus. And now he's just going to keep driving that way. Because he thinks I'm going to come after him. But no. Alright, well, that's good. Well, I got rid of him. And if he was still going after me, I'd be most likely dead by now. If this was menu, it, I would have kept it in this, this gear that it was in right now. Because it keeps shifting between the two gears because the automatic transmission can't handle how steep this hill is. Whatever gear this is, it should keep it in. Not this one, the other one that it was just in. That one. Where it's like really revving. Because <clears throat> uphill, you want more rev so that you don't stall it, especially if it's a manual. <clears throat> and if you're in a semi-automatic, which is where you can do man manual, like the, the semi-manual, so you don't have to use a clutch, you just use the stick, and you just push it up and down, then I would do that if you're going up a hill. Good tip right there. And then stay in a gear that it won't completely over rev, so like it'd probably be like third or something.
unless your car has like a good transmission and it's like not like one of those like this trucks this trucks crappy one <laughs> Well, this is like actually a pretty easy one now. Cause like no one's coming after me, and I can just literally try and drift this thing down this hill. I'm actually glad that dude couldn't throw sticky bombs out of his windows. Otherwise, I'd be gone, most likely. And I'm kind of bummed that I couldn't throw sticky bombs out of my windows because I had one left and I was going to chuck it right on his car and go kaboom. Like the front of his car. Because the front of those cars, if you hit them like two or three times, they can blow up easily. But if you hit them anywhere else, it's going to take a fair bit to do. There's a lot more people doing, like, just register registered as a CEO. But they're, like, not actually doing anything in this session because of probably how many people there is. But. Most of these people are probably, like, not even that good. Like, these top people all the way down to maybe the 209 person except the tw the 74 person he's probably like really crap at it but somehow he's got like a million dollars million dollars but you never know level doesn't mean really anything <sighs> if I was to get anything here, I'd get this one off upgrade and then I'd get the equipment one Oh wow, I'm in a garbage truck. Well. Wow. Okay. And that is actually right. I did not have any. I thought I had one left. Mm, okay.
Alright, well after I do this drop off, um, I'm gonna end this video. I know I said I was gonna do a bit of the weed, but I remembered that I got some supplies yesterday and none of it would have been ready today. So I'll have to put that in as a part two. And we'll do some of the weed later. That purple ho helicopter is probably going to be a tr nuisance.
Well, maybe not. Because, yeah, the weed has to go through so many processes. It has to grow, then you have to cut it, then they have to, like, after they cut it, then they have to package it all. So there's, like, a few steps, but then you got to get it processed and all that sort of stuff. So it's a fairly long process, so it can't just take a day. And you have to have a fair bit there to make, like, a good amount of money off of it. And I've only got a little bit there because I stole some yesterday and that was it. Because uh, I had like a fair bit there, and then because when you get a whole heap of money, which I did have, um, it kept on taking money out of my bank while I wasn't even playing, and yeah, that's why I shut it down. And then once you shut it down, I didn't realize that you lose everything there, so I should have sold my stock before I shut it down. But yeah, I didn't think like that. I just shut it down. Damn, that's a nice car. And that dude's gonna be a prick. I bet. I literally had a sticky bomb ready to chuck at him. If he was gonna be a prick. I'm not bothering him. <laughs> not yet, at least. Oh, come on. Thought that was going to break. That would have looked so cool if it broke. Just drop it, like, leave the truck right where you drop the counterfeit cash. Just right there. Oh, I thought it said something else, not purchase garage. Oh, you can't even get in it. I'm gonna have to blow it up then. One more on the other side. Right there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go visit the weed farm because my stuff have just arrived. Glad that girl admitted to her fault. She didn't even know what it was, to be honest. I don't know how long this video has gone on for, boys and girls. So if this video ends while I'm heading out there, I'm not going to start another one straight after, but I'm just going to end it right there. So if it does end, peace out. See you in another video. But if not, enjoy the rest of this video. And I still will be talking, but I just want to say that just in case, because, like, 
sometimes I think it's gonna end, but then, but then it doesn't end for a while, and then after a bit I forget how long it's gone for, and then it just randomly ends. So I like to say it just before it ends, because I don't really keep count of how long it's been recording for. Which I probably will start doing now, keeping a, like, set a timer on my phone, or a stopwatch on me, and then, yeah. So I can keep track of how long I've been recording for. But yeah, keep out for the part two to this video, because I will be doing one soon. It probably won't be right after this video because I'm not going to be doing anything else in this one. In this session especially because there is a fair bit of people in here. Some of them are pretty high leveled and with the weed you got to go everywhere. You got to like fly around at the ocean and stuff and plane and rocket launches don't match. Especially a dodo because you have to use a seaplane. I think that's what it's called, the dodo, or something. They are a fun, fun plane to just fly around in, but when you actually have to fly them and you're getting shot at, they're not very fun. Because they're pretty hard to maneuver, like, quickly. They're not like jets. It would be good if they handled like jets, but yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I, we, I always put everything in there, like that. <laughs> Yahoo! I'm here! So yeah, before I shut down my business... Wait until it works. Oh, you see those back bushes up there? That actually got up pretty quick. Everything here was like those back bushes before I shut my business down. So when you ran in here, there's like weed everywhere. And that was all full. And there was like a ton more of those like all over here. So I'm gonna go quickly steal some more supplies. That's like the only thing I am gonna do is get a few more supplies because it's running out. And the reason I think everything's grown is because I have, like, maximum upgrades, I think. I can't remember. But I do think I have bought everything. I've upgraded my staff. I've upgraded the little, the growing process, I think. And the only thing I don't think I have done just by looking is the fans. Because you can get, like, massive big industrial ones. But... Mm. Okay then. So there's a driver that's meant to be here on uh, the side. Said um, I would avoid leaving my motorcycle behind because it could get destroyed. Something. So I'm going to just put it here and do exactly what it said. Put it into storage. And then I'm just gonna like walk in like a bus.
Run back! Run back! That's it. I've had enough of this. And I stick that also runs over and picks up all the money. So that's something that I'm going to start doing as well. It's actually a pretty good idea. I never really thought of doing that. Just like get in, kill them all, and steal the supplies. But To be honest, I don't really care, like, about the global thinking now because, like, how close I am already to my warehouse, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. Well, I can't shoot because there's stuff in the back. back over that destroyed some of the supplies drifted in supplies delivered alrighty well we'll see how much supplies we have Okay, there we go. Oh wow, since we got back those grew. So this is basically what it looked like before I shut my business down, but without the workers. So we've got more supplies now. So now what's gonna happen is all of these plants are gonna get cut, hung up exactly like that. And these people are gonna, this, this dude, He's gonna come and check on my guess or something. And they're also gonna cut the leaves, I think, off of them. And then after the leaves are all cut off, it comes over here. And then it all gets pulled off, put into that. And then, yeah. This dude smokes one, I guess. And then after it gets processed there, it gets shoved into bags like that and then the bags get put over here and as you just saw it went from 10,000 I mean 7,000 to 10,000 and another bag just rolled in here so I don't normally wait until like every one of these are filled because then you're gonna be doing like this is gonna be like six or seven planes that you have to deliver 
And with only one person doing it, it's going to be hard. <coughs> mm, I must have everything. You already own that upgrade, nice. Ah, well, yeah, I have got a complete business done. I already own that, and I already own the other thing, which is security. So, yeah, cool. I didn't even notice that, yeah, that I had the industrial fans. It must be, yeah, there. Cool. Oh, nice. I don't really get why you need industrial fans in a weed farm. Is it, like, to keep the smell in or something? So that it doesn't, like, waft outside and then police find it? Find it because people smell weed and they'll get attracted to the smell of it or something? Or is that actually to help grow the plants? It is just weird. I don't get it. But Rockstar's details are pretty good. Like the shadows of the fans. The people are actually coming in and checking the plants over. But I wish they actually moved plants instead of just standing at the one forever. And as you can see, there's another dude standing over here now, checking out these. And you can see this dude chucking the stuff away. So. I don't know why that dude's smoking it, though. But I actually like it. If you, can, if you stand here, you can actually see them chucking them away into this buckets. And then they wait a little while, and then pick out another one. But the thing I wished is that pile actually got smaller. Because I just, I thought it did, but it doesn't. Because I just saw that dude pick it. Oh, it does. But when this dude picked it, the one that the lady just took, it didn't disappear. I guess there was two sitting there. And then it looked like one from my angle. Alrighty, well, thank you for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Peace out. See you in another video.